everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning December 6th, 2021. How are your lives doing? <laughs> Have you seen some major changes? Now, remember, just because something doesn't happen outside of you doesn't mean that there isn't something happening within you. So have you changed your perspective? Have you forgiven? Have you discovered that you want to move on to something else? You know, I mean, it's all these things. But if you haven't made that internal shift, things may have been decided for you or they will be decided for you in the coming months, actually. So just be aware of that. Now, I want to share this very funny dream I had just last night. I dreamt that I was in this building and I came out into the waiting room and all of these people had seen an angel movie and wanted to get an angel reading with me. <laughs> and I remember just feeling so overwhelmed and so like put in the spotlight and I didn't know what to do with it. Now, we'll see what that dream ends up meaning in the coming months, but pay attention to your dreams. I mean, for me, when I woke up, I felt like I had a lot of work to do, but not in like a stressed out way, but in like a like a charge, like, yes, let's do this kind of way. And I felt very creative and I felt like, okay, this is a sign to me that I need to be moving on to a more creative path, make sure I'm nurturing that part of me because there was that movie in there. Not that I'm writing a movie, but, <laughs> but movies are very creative, right? So I felt like I had to go that direction and that my calling was to do this spiritual counseling, which I have been doing. So that's the kind of thing I think is going to be happening for a lot of us where we're going to be having these very um, vivid dreams, okay, where you wake up from it. And if you say that you can't remember your dreams, that's fine. Just pay attention to how you feel when you wake up, okay? There's your message. It's going to be getting us on to a more sort of solid path. And there's a feeling here. Let me get this. Yeah, it's this feeling of... Um, we have to let go of things that we've been told are important. Um, letting go of more shallow things, uh, letting go of fear, okay? Uh, one of the things in doing this kind of work is that people come and they, they're very fearful. They're very fearful of their future. That's why they want fortune telling types of readings, which don't actually in the long run help you at all because the whole idea is that you're creating your own future <laughs> right so it's better to be empowered to create that future you feel me instead of having someone give you their take on it right okay so let's pull some cards here and uh see what other messages and you know the way i've always approached my readings it's not fortune telling it's food for thought <laughs> right it's meant to uh spark something within you so that you can co-create your own existence so speaking of readings if you would like a personal reading with me just go to my website at angelsouls444.com please do not forget about the archangel meditation challenges i have a whole library of them now along with lots of other spiritual content over at gumroad.com slash angel souls there is a gabriel one over there this is the perfect time of year to do that so we've had two cards come out one is queen of ariel and one is eight of raphael yeah <laughs> you're moving towards your abundance yeah, because I feel like this one comes out first. So Eight of Raphael, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. So this starts with some heart healing, first and foremost. So healing your emotions, healing. Now, I'm not a professional in this area. Please check with a therapist if you need to. But, you know, anxiety. I just realized recently I've been dealing with anxiety and I was so used to it that I didn't even see it. <laughs> so then when I kind of, you know, started taking action to calm that down and to heal that, I started to get a lot of clarity and I started to see that I was making a lot of choices out of fear instead of what was really coming from my heart. Archangel Raphael is all about the heart space, okay? So this is that kind of thing of tuning in, realizing what doesn't work for you anymore and moving away to go off and find your happiness, which apparently we will be doing. So here is Queen of Ariel, mature, practical, generous, happy. Now pay attention to that. Mature and practical. <laughs> right? We can't just have our head in the clouds and expect magic to come flowing into our lives, right? We're, we're really learning the nature of our energetic field and what our place in this fabric of the universe, if you want to see it that way, what is that place and how do we interact with it? Okay, not in a manipulative, controlling kind of way, because that'll just come back to you, right? So nurture yourself and those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, 
practical and wise advice. So there's a lot of material manifestation, a lot of, um, you know, maybe good financial flow, right? Opportunities. This is very, a very abundant card. Okay. And I think that that is because you are tuning into what really is going to make you happy. And now you're moving towards that. Now, I'm hearing the message to pass along to not jump to conclusions about what will make you happy. <laughs> okay. Like, and I laugh at that because I, oh God, how many times have I done that in my life? Like, uh, I assume it's going to be this. I assume it's going to be that. And so I start working towards that and nothing, it doesn't go anywhere. Right. And so, you know, I've been doing that for decades now where I go after a project, it's not working very well. So I have to stop back up, reevaluate, you know, what am I supposed to be learning from this? And don't underestimate the soul learning that you're doing. Okay. So there's a lot of that, a lot of transformation going on. Okay. There we go. What else do we have? We have eight of Michael. You can be free, make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. Again, we get very caught up in the society. This is the approach. This is how you need to do it. You know, this is what your life should look like. And I think again, with this card, there are two eights here, right? So somehow you got to like change your perspective and realize that you're not a victim of your circumstances. You are not, I, I was just saying this to somebody I used to sit around waiting for life to happen to me. And you know, that took all my choices away. So you're tuning back into your heart. You're releasing yourself from an old way of thinking. And hopefully this will open up the path to abundance. But I think what this is also talking about is making that hard decision to let go of something. Yeah, let's see. It might be hard, two of Gabriel. Uh, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. Yeah, you're breaking away from toxicity. You're breaking away, especially if you come from a family that's always tried to define you or they diminish anything that you're doing because they don't feel important, you know, or maybe that's a work situation for you. Whatever the case may be, this is you making a very firm decision to free yourself, to connect with that deeper part of you that says, okay, you know what? I don't want to be in this relationship. For some of you, it will be that. Um, but I think for most people, it's how we live. And again, the energy that we contribute out into the universe. So this could be... Again, walking away from a career, <laughs> it could be that um, because maybe a new opportunity has come in, but really it's watching how we interact with people, catching ourselves when we are being enablers because we, we fancy ourselves peacekeepers, but we're not standing up for what's right. Okay. And what's right is not always following the self-righteous people who just are being mad because they want someone to fawn all over them. That's a lot of what we're seeing out there. People don't even care about half the stuff that they're yelling about. They just want attention. I said it. <laughs> I said it. Go tell your friends, okay? So that's not that. It's really uh, heightening our intuition so that we can kind of look into a situation and sense what really is going on there. And that might be, I see that person's pain and I see why they're so upset. Or I see that this person, okay, this is the time of year where you're going to see a lot of social narcissists all over social media. Look at what a good person I am. Here's me filming myself paying for something for someone or buying toys for someone or feeding the homeless or what have you. And then they're wanting that person to get on camera and sit there and be like, yes, I'm so grateful that this person bought me. And like, oh my God. <laughs> so let's not play into that. And this is really more a message for the enablers who will sit there. You see something like that on social media and you fall for it. You fall for it and you go in there and be like, oh my God, you're such a good person. Okay, let's not. Let's not. Let's take the energy away from people like that. Let them figure it out on their own. Okay. Oh, what's going on here? <laughs> I've got two cards. It felt, yeah. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so last quarter moon in Capricorn, leave the past behind. And last quarter moon in Sagittarius, Practice gratitude. Why does that look funny? Practice. Um, okay, anyway, so we're leaving the past behind, being grateful because, you know, the gratitude is how we are going to be able to move forward, how we are going to be able to 
create the next chapter. And that's what this time is all about. It's letting the old fall away so that we can move on. And, you know, I don't want to say like be better people, but, you know, we are allowed to be happy. We don't need to feed into a system that is telling us, you know, go into debt, but then feel bad about the debt. You should own a house, but the houses are crazy. The housing market is crazy. I've used that example before. You should have this kind of job, but then when you do get that job, it kills your soul, right? So we're, we're moving away from that. We're getting smarter. We're starting to see more of our social ills. And one of the biggest social ills would be the people yelling about the social ills. We're looking past uh, the facade, all right? And we're looking at what is real. Where are people victimizing themselves or wanting to blame others for their troubles, that sort of thing. We're waking up to it, okay? And I hope that many of us watching this would not partake in that anymore, all right? So we're gonna leave it there for the weekly. I'm gonna break this down into dailies. Make sure you check those out. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.